Hello there, it's Halo with Armageddon Report. So much going on. We've got four active storm systems. So we've got over here in the Atlantic, we've got Hurricane Sandy. We've got Tropical Storm Tony. We have this one is still being called One by the JTWC, but the India Meteorological Department is calling this Merjan. This one is Sun Ting. I have no idea how that's pronounced. That's a tropical storm, soon to be the equivalent of a Category 1, which would make it Typhoon Sun Tin. Han or however whatnot. So let's go on over to Sandy's page. Take a look at that. The land hazards. This is a bug. Jamaica is not a land hazard. It's getting passed incorrectly, obviously. So let's turn on the satellite if we can to get some perspective. I can never remember. There you go. That is Hurricane Sandy. Down a little bit further is a loop of Hurricane Sandy. Here are the watches and warnings effects. So the red stuff is Hurricane Warnings. Tropical storm warnings out there, tropical storm watch, hurricane watch, and tropical storm watch as well. So, and the land hazards was this one, obviously. It's a hurricane wind. So, Viento, Juvia, uh, Marejada, Cicronica, I think is the word, and Jamaica. Apparently, it shouldn't say that, and probably by the time I get a chance to fix it, it will already be updated. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, so, and then Tony. Tony is expected to dissipate out, well, at least as of the last time I checked. So I don't know what the effects are going to be to the Azores Islands. Tony is supposed to go to post-tropical somewhere in this general area, right? So potential impacts to the Azores, but it might be a post-tropical so post cyclone by that time. So Merjan. So this one headed for, I, I don't even know, I'm going to, you know, Somalia. I'm showing my ignorance with geographical things. So, here is the India Meteorological Department. Here's the Tropical Cyclone Advisory. And unfortunately for Cyclocane, it's in PDF format, which makes it p practically impossible to pass. It looks fine if you're reading it with some humanized computer eyes, not Cyclocane. So yes, this one is officially Tropical Storm Majan, apparently now. So, forecast to stay, looks like basically in this same... Um, strength range and then to downgrading or whatnot to a deep depression. They call it that in that basin and then to a low. So I think a deep depression is actually maybe the rough equivalent of a tropical depression. I think there's some overlap in there. So that's that storm. There's an area of invest out here where for some reason the spaghetti models are still calling it 93 WP even though it has officially passed into the Indian Ocean. The Bay of Ben. Gal, but I have no idea. Anyway, but a low chance of tropical cyclone formation on that one as per the JTWC. And then we have Sun Tin slash Ophel, if that's how it's pronounced. So for the Pegasa area up to as high as a signal number two, and then they have land hazards down here with, you know, flash flooding, landslides. So if you're in that area, you should absolutely, of course, I'm sure you're already paying attention. And then, of course, potential impacts to Vietnam in the future. So, yes, that is what's happening. Have we covered everything? I think that does. Let's turn on the satellite for there. Let's see. West Pacific. So there you go. There is Sun Tin slash Ophel. So not kind of looking broken up somewhat. So, yes, is that it? I think that's it for the cyclone stuff of all the four things that are going on. So, yes. Oh yes, then we take a look at the hurricane local statements. There's also hurricane local statements that affect. So US impacts in Florida. Yes, I don't know. If you're in there, you read those things, you find out what's going on. I've lost my attention. Severe thunderstorm weather wise in the US. Here's what's going on today. 15% chance of winds, 15% chance of hail, 5% chance of a tornado. However, the right now's right now. No mesoscale discussions, watches or warnings in effect as of yet. Here is the wind map for today. So, yes, Iowa, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, stuff going on there. Oh, uh, right. Also, the wind map is the chance of severe winds that are 58 miles per hour greater. The hail map is chance of hail that is one inch or larger, so a little bit area, bigger area there. And any type of tornado is a severe weather event. So, yes, as high as a 5% chance. So, that would mean pick this random point in Iowa. And if you drew a 25-mile radius circle around it, that would mean that there's a 5% chance that a tornado will occur somewhere in that 25-mile circle. Yes, 
But, however, afterwards, it's kind of marginal tomorrow, but we'll talk about it tomorrow, of course, and then not nothing on the books as of yet for days three through eight. Right, yes. SevereWeatherTV.com is the official home page of this screencast. Wiggywigs is W-I-C-K-E-D-W-X.com. Cyclokin, let's go back up to the map. Cyclokin is C-Y-C-L-O. Nope, that doesn't have it. I always like to have something on screen for some reason. Cyclokin is C-Y-C-L-O, C-A-N-E.com. That's it for today. Enjoy your day and stay safe out there.